Good morning. I thought I'd do another teas I drink in a day. And as always, I start my day off with a cup of coffee. So um, I forgot to buy coffee the last time I was at the grocery store. Um, and we had this Keurig downstairs with the, um, by the guest room. So I just went ahead and brought this up. And we're just using some of the um, Keurig pods for a little bit. But anyway, so here I am. Coffee with some half and half. We'll see you soon. So it's a second cup of coffee kind of day. My first cup actually was only about half of the small cup and um, I wasn't sure what to set it at on our Keurig so I had set it at six ounces. So this one I did at eight ounces, add a little half and half and it's 645 and I'm about to take my son to jazz band for zero period and then I'll be back to wake up the girls and get some teas ready for the day for my husband to take to work and for me to take with me. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's almost eight o'clock and um, the girls are getting ready for school. And what I'm doing is I'm going to make some teas for my husband and I to take um, for the day. I've been sending him a hot tea and a matcha and he's been really liking that. Um, so he's gonna take this lock top cup and um, the way that I've been making our matchas, since we like them iced, um, I don't even bother mixing them with hot water first. I've been putting these little blender balls in and um, then I'll put a couple ice cubes and that's enough to keep it cold all day. So I'll put about three or four ice cubes in. And then, right now I have this vanilla almond milk. I've been switching off between soy milk and almond or another kind of non-dairy milk because I know that there's some controversy about if soy is good for you or not and um, while I like the taste of the vanilla soy I just uh, I feel better just not having it all the time so I've been alternating it I don't love the almond milk quite as much as the soy though but um, so I've added one cup of almond milk and then I'll just to make it last longer I add a little bit of water as well there's not as much room in the lock top one, but um, so I probably only added about a quarter or a third of a cup. And then to mine, this one's the one that I'll take today. Um, I added a little bit more water. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm trying to use up this candy cane matcha and this lid is stuck, okay. So this is about how much I have left. And what we've kind of discovered is that we don't love some of these flavored matchas. They're good, but um, my preference is actually the fruit matchas, like the blueberry. And so, and these are really kind of too sweet for us. So they recommend doing about five, five to seven matcha spoons. But I only use two to three matcha spoons. I'll do about two and a half in them. I think there's only about one more day's worth in there. And then I'll mix it with a plain matcha. And this one's not a plain matcha, it's a matcha mocha. It doesn't have a ton of mocha flavor though. And it's from Adagio. And I'll do a scoop of that. And it just kind of helps it to not be so sweet. And I think that the plain matcha, um, or the non-sweetened matchas are actually better for you. So. Um, and then I just put the lids on and I just shake them up and that blender ball helps it to mix up and I don't have to have a different kind of matcha maker or anything special. And then I'll be right back to show you the hot teas that I'm going to make for today. Okay, so um, after I made the matchas, I brewed three more teas. And this one I brewed um, Zest Wishes from David's Tea. I really like this tea, it's an orange cinnamon. And I brewed this in my Perfect Mug and I'm just gonna sip on this this morning and it fits in my cup holder so when I take the girls to school if I still have it, I can take that with me. And then in one of my, in another carry, travel carry mug, I brewed some white tea, orange glazed cranberry scone. And these are the two teas that I'm taking with me today. I'm gonna to be gone for several hours. I have Bible study and I'll sip on this one 
during that. And then um, I have to run some errands, so I've made the matcha to sip on afterwards later. It's a little bit more filling with the almond milk, so if I start getting a little hungry, then I can um, sip on that. And then I have, so I have for my husband, for him to take to work, he has his matcha and then he has some a mix of the blueberry jam and cream of earl grey from david's tea and i just used a slightly scant scoop of each um, just a little bit less than a perfect spoon of each of those and added it to his carry mug so those are the teas we're drinking this morning i'll be back later this afternoon to show you what else we're having um so i just thought i'd share what i was eating today as well since i'm showing you what i'm drinking um, I made some oatmeal, just some quick oats, and I did about a fourth cup of that and cooked it with water. Added about a third of a banana diced up, and um, some flaxseed, a little bit of peanut butter, and a few of these pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds from Trader Joe's. They're really yummy, um, and they add a nice little crunch. And then I'll just add a little bit of almond milk. To it and that's what I'm going to have for breakfast. We'll see you later. Okay, so I finished my run and my workout and for lunch, it's a little bit late, but I'm just gonna have some mixed spring greens and um, a little oil and vinegar. And I've got these from Redstone. I love their olive oils and vinegars. I've got today cranberry pear white balsamic and olive wood smoked olive oil. I've got a small piece of leftover gluten-free pizza, and I didn't get a chance to drink my matcha earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and drink that and get my shower and then uh, do some chores, and then it'll be time to pick up the kids. So it's 4.30 in the afternoon, and the kids are doing homework, and I'm going to have a cup of this carrot cake rooibos tea from The Necessities. I had only ordered two ounces of this to begin with, just to try, and um, it's, I think it's a pretty good blend and tea if you want a tea that tastes similar to carrot cake. Um, it just hasn't been a favorite of mine, so this is one that I'm going to go ahead and try to use up. And I'll sip on this as we're working on homework and then making dinner, and I'll be back later with some more tea. Hi, this is Abby, and I am working. Um, my, I just got my t my water in the tea Ruper Float from the Necessities, and we are trying to use this one up. So I decided to have a cup of it to try to help. And it's right before dinner, so she'll probably be drinking it with her dinner or shortly after her dinner. Yep. So Ellie said she wanted some root beer float tea, so Abby's giving her This is root beer float, one. and in here I'm making caramel corn from David's tea. So yeah, that's the tea that they're having. Okay, so it's about a quarter to 8 p.m., and um, this might be my last cup for the day. Um, just depends if I get tired too tired later to have another cup, um, but I'm having Lee Digestive from David's Tea, which is one I drink um, several nights a week. Uh, it's just a good kind of stomach settling blend. And then Joshua asked for some white chocolate peppermint from Tivana. Um, we've got less than half of this big tin of this one left. So still got quite a bit but it's not going to last forever and that's his absolute favorite. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to brew both of these uh, with a boiling water. I like my tea in the Nordic mugs and it stays hot for a little while. Um, I don't usually make the kids teas in the Nordic mugs because they just get so hot um, to hold and stuff and so I usually use these steepers and then um, you set it on top of the mug and the, the tea comes into the mug and it just um, helps it so that the mug doesn't get quite so hot. So anyway, those are probably our last teas for the day. If not, I'll be back, but I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.